It is now 11:17 on this Monday night, and we are definitely in May, but April still impacting us with those April showers as we discussed. Yeah, there are a few of those that will be with us, and we're going to have on and off rain as we get into the first week of May here. But by next week, I think you're really going to like where things are going. We have the 10 day forecast coming up before tomorrow. Rain toward midday will be moving in. I think we will have a dry day at the very start, but then we'll see the rain showers catching up to us. We have scattered rain and storms in the afternoon and the evening forecast. Some of those storms could get a little strong, so let's set the table for you here. We've got a big storm system that is sweeping through the Plain State. This is going to hook up into the Buckeye State as we head through the day tomorrow. As you can imagine, this time of the year, this storm is getting its energy from a collision of air masses. Very warm, very soupy air. Of course, on the other side, then there is very cold and very dry air. So what does that mean for our forecast? Well, we will be warm and soupy through the day tomorrow. We're probably going to make it into the 70s and then much cooler air starts to filter in on the back side of that. But this time of the year, none of that lasts very long. The severe weather threat continues tonight, especially in eastern Oklahoma, western sections of Arkansas and Missouri. But tomorrow it begins to shift eastward as that storm system makes its approach to us. We have a slight risk for scattered severe thunderstorms. High wind gusts are going to be a possibility. Also some hail, also torrential rain with these thunderstorms as they move through. So we'll really be keeping an eye out, especially later in the day. Let's go hour by hour in your National Design Mart forecast. Morning temperatures are going to be well into the 50s across a good part of the area. We'll have a lot of clouds around. It will be a little muggy and a southeasterly breeze will be with us. That will help to propel the temperatures into the upper 60s, if not the low 70s by the time our first round of rain arrives. Now, this has been very persistent in the forecast that we'll have midday rain and thunderstorms moving through. Again, some of these will have heavy rain in them that could impact the roads with hydroplaning a possibility. We'll see that round kind of backing off and then we'll get into more scattered rain and thunderstorms as we head through the heat of the day. Notice here four o'clock in the afternoon. Not everyone has rain. We may even get some murky sunshine, but the temperatures are going to be in the low and possibly mid 70s. That adds fuel to the fire. So as these thunderstorms begin to work through, they do have some juice to work with. And we are looking at on off rain chances and thunderstorms through the entirety of the evening. Then once we get into the overnight, that rotates out as the storm system departs. We'll have a northwesterly breeze. It will be notably cooler as we head through the day on Wednesday. Pretty big change coming in. Here's your union home mortgage forecast. Note that drop. We go from the 70s tomorrow with early Early rain clearing on Wednesday, but we don't make it out of the 50s. We'll be back into the 60s, though, on Thursday. We'll start dry, late rain Thursday night, then Friday, more rain and thunderstorms in the forecast. We will have some lingering rain into Saturday, but by the end of the day, we start to clear out. And when I say we clear out, look at where we go from there. This is what y'all have been waiting for. Mother's Day looks fantastic. And then next week, we are looking mid and upper 70s if not the possibility of 80 degrees. And as of right now, fingers crossed, we got a lot of sunshine headed our way too. Russ. Already smiling about that, Betsy. Looks great. Thanks. Yep.